back again with another reaction video. The t-shirt this week. Uh, this is a special t-shirt. This is the Josh Henty Smith West End. It's the Circle of Life t-shirt. Very special t-shirt. Um, Josh Henty Smith is a very special guy. Um, and he sadly passed away earlier in the year. Uh, during pre-season football training. Um, so rest in peace, Josh. And it's an honor to wear a t-shirt, um, wear this t-shirt. So a little bit of story about today's reaction video. Um, I actually initially was going to react to a, a recent release beer by Pirate Life, um, a local Adelaide Brewery. They released a beer which is collaboration, which is a collaboration, sorry, with um, Dilmar. Uh, it's a tea and Bickies beer. Looked at the, I looked at the, um, the list of stockists, the Pirate Life list of stockists. Um, I live in Prospect and there is literally no one within 15 kilometers of where I live. Um, or they, they sell it in the city, so that might be closer than where I went. Half an hour's drive um, to buy one can of beer. Um, and got there. Um, he told me that they'd sold out, they sold the last two, they, they sold the last two cans half an hour ago is what he said. So I went quiet and it was pretty awkward. Um, I went quiet while I was trying to um, formulate a contingency plan. I have mentioned before that I work at a, um, a supermarket and so always keep an eye on um, new types of tea coming in. I'm, an, I'm a fairly avid tea drinker. Um, I drink probably four or five cups a day. The first product I'm going to sample today is Twining's Mango and Strawberry Tea. I'll unveil to you the packaging. So this is the Twining's man Mango and Strawberry. Um, I've bought a 10 pack. This is, I think the initial release with tea, they just do a 10 pack of tea bags, um, which is what these are. Uh, the brew instructions, 100 degrees, two to five minutes. Uh, enjoy this infusion without milk. That's a fairly clear instruction. Ingredients, hibiscus, orange leaves, strawberry flavor, mango flavor, orange peel, rose hip, licorice root. So that's actually just mango flavor, really. I mean, they obviously want the strawberry flavor to dominate because it's got more of that. Float away to a tropical paradise. The familiar sweetness of strawberry flavor dances with the exotic, rich aroma of mangoes to create this deliciously refreshing blend. Take a moment to pause your day. Boop. And enjoy this summery infusion bursting with lush flavor. Okay, so that's the first one we're gonna try. The second one is also by Twinings. It is their black currant and blueberry flavor tea as well. So we've got two cups of tea on the go. Enjoy this infusion without milk. The brewing instructions are exactly the same as the, the instructions for um, the mango and strawberry. Interesting, both very fruity, refreshing and deeply delicious. When you're looking for something different, enjoy the mouth-watering flavor of juicy black currants and blueberries in this delightfully fruity tasting infusion. This blend is beautifully balanced with rich black currant taste that's rounded by the freshness of the berry flavor. Twinings know how to sell some tea. So basically, um, you get 10 of these in the, so that's a bag. You open this up and there's a tea bag inside. I'm not sure if you've ever tried it, but that um, gives you the brewing instructions on the back. And a little spiel, <clears throat> that little spiel that I just read. Mango and strawberry has the same thing. Yeah. 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 
got two different mugs for these. When I opened the bag, it was like really fruity. Both were really fruity. Um, smell, smelling, but and it smelled sweet and good. I'm not sure how sweet it's gonna be. I'll show you my first mug. This is the mango and strawberry mug. Mango and strawberry. So it says this 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 mug I actually inherited from my grandfather. Um, and this says youth is wasted on the young. And it has a picture of an elephant riding a small like tricycle. Um, I just thought that the saying was profound and Another little elephant on the other side. I'm just sniffing away here. What does the mango remind me of? Remind the... The scent takes me back to like these fruit straps or something that mum used to get for us and probably using a lot of artificial type flavor. What is that? Oh. It's just, something, another flavor I can't, um, I can't put my finger on. Jelly crystals. It smells like jelly crystals. Reminds me of, it reminds me of jelly in like appearance also. I don't know, you can't see it here. Let me just. Strawberry flavor definitely dominant. Um, strawberry flavor is 11%. Mango flavor is 7%. Round two, black currant and blueberry. So the second mug. Um, the second mug was a gift from my housemate Alex when she lived with us. And basically on one side there you can see it says one loose moose and it has a picture of a moose and then you turn it around and it says bark <laughs> here's cheers Blackcurrant flavour seems to be dominant. Blackberry, black blackcurrant flavour five percent. Blueberry flavour two percent. The buds don't lie. Blackcurrant. So it just, I guess it just makes me think of blackcurrant juice, apple and blackcurrant juice, blackcurrant Powerade. Um, all the things that come in blackcurrant flavour, that sort of really, the blackcurrant. If you're a fan of blackcurrant, then this tea is for you. It's a bluey, purpley sort of colour. has a, a darker colour to it. Ribena. It reminds me of Ribena. Both of these teas they're a lot more aromatic blueberry and strawberry and mango and uh, black currant was than they actually are taste wise which i think with fruit tea is pretty common they were really nice to try i think my body's gonna like me um more for trying for having tried this than for having tried the uh dilma beer but if you do try the deal with beer, please tell me what it's like uh, in the comments because I was very curious about that. Anyway, that is me having
just drank two cups of tea before a meal, so they were two dollars seventy each for per ten pack. So I guess that equates to twenty seven cents per tea bag. Which I mean, obviously English breakfast and green tea probably be cost less than that. Um, it's sort of an introductory um, expensive price um probably wouldn't go buying them all the time anyway thanks for watching like and subscribe and see you next time